just came out of the pyramids. I just came out of the dermatologist's office, and I just wanted to say that when the assistant came in and asked me eh, questions, blah blah blah, and she says, "Are you taking any medication?" and I said, "There is nothing on my chart," and I said, "I don't take medication. I self-medicate." I told her. She just looked at me with big open eyes. And I did too. <laughs> I couldn't see mine, but hers were wider than hell. And I, and she said, she got a big smile, and she said, "Oh, okay." And then when the doctor came in, or I should say the nurse, I had a uh, something taken off my back, uh, precancerous, whatever it was, and she came in. And uh, something about medication. I said, oh, well, you'll see in the video because <laughs> I took the video. It was on. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I was yakking with her, making all kinds of strange, stupid shit. Whatever. Yeah, no, I, it was just, I threw it on the. She came in the room, I turned it on, threw it on the chair next to me. And then as I got up, I threw my shirt on it and moved the shirt. So I hope it comes out. And when I went back, the red light was on after I got all my stuff done. So, oh, ho, ho, baby. Okay. So anyway, I had a good time with the girls in the office. I told, her, told them all about me and my YouTube page because I gave two cards. Check me out. And I acted like a fool in the check-in room. And I went and I talked to the doctor and the nurse told them, I mean the uh, assistant and the nurse, and told her that, yep, I'm self-medicated. In fact, I'm self-medicated right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this should be easy. Oh yeah, I'm all right. Go ahead, go for it. It was nothing. She stuck a needle in my back. I never even felt it. Probably a needle that was half inch long. Because she went in straight with it. I could feel that. And that was nothing. Oh, wait a minute. This is where I want to go. Uh, and so I stuck the needle in and numbed up. And she did whatever she was doing. All I could figure was she was going back and forth, wiggling, making me wiggle, wiggle, wiggle with my back. She was probably scraping the hell out of it. Yeah, that's all right. That's what I wanted. That's what she came in there for. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, it was nothing. Uh, so what they did was they had gone into my back before and seen a free cancer cell and they wanted a biopsy. So six months later, three months later, here I am back again for a checkup and to scrape the rest of my price. I the freaking hole is about that big, about a half inch around. And, yeah, I know she scraped. She was in there doing all kinds of strange shit for about uh, maybe a minute or so. And I could feel it. And 30 seconds here and then another 30 seconds. And um, you'll see the video. Or you'll hear the video. <laughs> I try to keep it up to upbeat. And I'm always acting. Find out later that Jesus is scary. How come you're an asshole in every fucking video that we see when you talk to people? What? <laughs> yeah, you act stupid. You know why? If you don't know why, don't watch my videos. <laughs> How's that? Yeah, that's why. Oh, I don't go anywhere without uh, by myself or with uh, by myself without getting fucked up. It's fun. I'm enjoying myself. And I'm gonna do it. Day I can't get fucked up. Alright, I got metal. Uh, I think I got metal. Something behind here while I'm yakking. I can't understand if, if it's real metal or just a. Uh, what the hell was that in my ear? Oh, I gotta push buttons twice? I gotta push this button right here. And that will stop everybody so I can get right to the middle. Well, I'm going to go to the middle. Well, don't 
Don't give me that. Don't walk. Give me that walk kit. That doesn't work. I'm screwed. See it over there? Just don't walk. Well, hopefully in a second it'll say, Gary, walk. No, I won't. Hey, I pushed the button. Let's go. Jesus, are you kidding me? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen cars at that stop. And look at this. It's only freaking Wednesday, for Christ's sake. And here comes ten, three more, four more. Yeah, watch the sign, Gary. Never mind these clowns. Yeah, but there's always that one. Oh, eh, 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 eh. It's far enough. Oh, you're over the line. Push the button to get across this section here now. And look at all the traffic. If the camera goes down real quick, that's because it's ready for me to, to walk. Because that little guy over there is walking. He's not riding a bike. Yeah, the lights are synced pretty much okay. And, and I'm going to wait right here for my light to change the walk. <laughs> I was going to jump it, but... Jump it. All right, I'm on my way home. Might go out to eat tonight. My honey is uh, probably not feeling too good and wants to. Uh, I'll take a rope. I'm loaded. I'll take a rope. <laughs> I'm loaded. Well, not today. I just have money for candy bars on the way home. Just for my own lunch. Candy. Yeah, so I'm going to go home and see if my wife, Honey, wants to go out tonight because she got in a car accident. I need to take my daughter out because she did a whole nine yards with mom today. I picked her up at the accident and. And took her to the house, uh, Day Kimball, uh, uh, Bacchus, down in Plainfield, uh, just for a checkup, and then would, would take her home. Uh, whoever hit Sharon would, uh, would be paying for this accident. So whatever bills are off, I don't want her to go on Judge Judy. I want to take care of right now. No Judge Judy for my honey. Stand up, Gary. Gary, did you see anything at the accident? No, Judge. Sit down! What are you here for? <laughs> well, my honey and I did it last night in that hotel you put us up in. And uh, as you can see, it worked because I have a big smile on my face. <laughs> Thank you, Judge Judy. But no, I didn't see anything. Hey, Wayne, what's going on? I didn't notice you. Never noticed you. Never thought about it. How's it going? Oh, fucking awesome. Unbelievable. Oh, I am fucking kicking ass out there, man. I'm biking, 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 drinking, and mowing lawns in my neighborhood like you wouldn't believe. Is that right? Oh, have a fucking ball you're for You're looking, me. I'm telling you, you're looking chipper today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm having a ball for my 70-year-old body. Well, there you go. That's if it. I go tomorrow, I'm fucking having a ball today. Well, there you go. You, you made it. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo. Nice to see <laughs> nice you. Nice to see you again, Wayne. Right, I always look in the window and kind of wave when I go by, so. Well, I just want to acknowledge you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice you, buddy. All right, man. See you in November. Yeah. <laughs> is the camera still on? Yeah, it is. Is it? <laughs>
Alright. Yeah, I don't know how to react to people. I think I know how to react, but I don't. I'm a doofus when it comes to reacting to people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, we're still on. I'm headed on my way home. I'm not gonna stop. I was gonna maybe go to Wally World and get some candy bars, because. Yeah, I was a good boy today. I gave away a drink. I had one. I had another one. And I bought somebody a drink. Because I went to the doctor's at quarter of two. My appointment was uh, not at two, as I expected, but at three. So, upon knowing that I, uh, my appointment was at three from standing in the window and talking to the two girls at the desk. Thank you very much to the girls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything was good. It, yeah, I enjoyed it. Oh, you know why? I enjoyed it because the girls are paying attention to somebody on the other side of the, of the counter. And when I left, I asked them, you'll see the video, <laughs> I asked them if, uh, still so there? I can't see lights. Uh, I asked them if, uh, I like to take a patient survey. And I was it today, I was my, me as a patient. How would I do? I got a 10. I got a 10 out of 10, a 10 out of 10. And I told her, I said, uh, both of them. Uh, good for you girls. I says, uh, I know. I'll be back in three months. Just think of what that's going to be all about. <laughs> you know, I'll be back in three months. I already know them. So I'm going to really goof with them. <laughs> all right. I guess I'm done. I get off on myself because I guess I enjoy me. Yeah, I don't get off on myself. I just enjoy, enjoy talking to the camera and not telling my feelings because yeah that's another video uh, other than yeah well that just pissed me off or that's no good or and I don't say that because no matter who sees my videos I have to watch it now I was Blue Jay I was uh, taken off of YouTube after I had 10 1,058 videos. They took me off for saying something. Something else. And uh, I botched it because I didn't push the right buttons. Or I should say, I didn't click the right windows. Or boxes, whatever you call them. I didn't click them and I screwed myself. But, wow. Okay, so anyway. I'm starting all over again. I got a thousand videos. If you don't know who I'm is, then this is I'm is. <laughs> this is here I'm is, baby. And I'm is the Beezer guy. You know. The guy you're looking at through your computer screen. <laughs> I know. Can you understand it? I can't either. How am I so and handsome as I'm is. I don't know if any of you guys really know the kind of person I am is everybody sees you as wow what a good looking person. What's he like inside? That's the big thing about what you are as a person. I'm not just a pretty face or am I handsome as all ghetto but I have a soul and I have compassion for people and I have an an outright understanding of, through my experiences, like, oh, here we are with that, uh, that drain. Remember that one? I do this every time I go by it. Through my experiences, life, I have been through thick and thin, up and down, over and out, not as bad as some people on the street, but, wow, I've seen a lot of stuff, people, in 69 years. Six 
houses over here so far. Let me see. Come on. Come on, Tones. Lighten up here. I can't hear anything. Two, four, six. And I guarantee you there's another one in the back somewhere. My tunes aren't loud enough. I gotta stop to turn them up. Yeah, 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 that's more better. Than what I charge you guys. Uh, I gave you guys a listen to the earlier. It wasn't loud enough, but whatever. <laughs> you might not even put the video on. All right, I'm a video yacker, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, new channel, video yacker. Yakking video. Video yakking guy. Yakking video guy. Video, video guy that yaks. Crazy old man with a camera. Oh, I didn't think that you guys were still on looking at me while I was riding. Oh, I'm not the guy with the camera. My right hand is. I'm there's nothing to do with him. Hey, he does whatever he wants. Kidding me? <laughs> I can't do nothing with that. The right arm does as he wants. You know, every time I take a ride home on my bicycle, I always think of politics. And I haven't heard uh, anything today on the TV because when I watched it this morning before I left for the doctors was a movie that I was watching on uh, Prime. So I haven't watched any of the news today. Usually there's something... Eh, a little bit out of the ordinary coming up on the news of the day. Because these people down here in D.C.ville, they don't stop being corrupt. They don't stop doing for the corporations and do for the people. If you're or somebody is telling me, me... I'm the guy that pays taxes where I need to pay taxes. I don't quibble, I don't quit. I don't, for 50 years being married, I've always paid my taxes on time. And if you guys do this every time we turn around and you are just downright lying about what you can do for me and the next guy. And I don't have a choice. If I'm going to vote, I don't have a choice but between right and left. Both you guys are cut down the middle because some of the things I see as a, as a liberal, I don't like Democrat. I, I like liberal better. Some things I see as a liberal and most things I see as a Republican. But they also have their flaws. And I guarantee you, if you put these two people in a room, they would squabble forever because they can't see eye to eye because, not because of how they feel, but because of the congressman buddies that have already known that they're going to have this vote and that vote. It's already set in stone. They see Congress and they have an executive meeting. Are you fucking shitting me? Why? Tell me what you're doing in the back room. And then you come out and what the fuck is coming out of the back room? Oh, you're fucking me over again? How would I even think that you would do that to me? 
Don't bring me in the back room. Bring them in the back room. Fucking goddamn system. I'll never get hurt. Because I don't do nothing. <laughs> like I said, I pay my taxes. I don't owe nobody nothing. Except a little bit on the charge. Fuck them. I ain't the worst guy. My kid went bankrupt that 32 grand on a credit card and got it just fucking nollied. I guess that's the word. Yep. Forget it. We don't know nothing about it. Here's your paper. Thank you very much. Your credit card will be told. Oh, hang on there, buddy, at the end of the road. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's coming out pretty quick. He's coming his way, too. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, I didn't think it was coming up that quick. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know me. I don't have to know me. Oh, pedestrian crossing. What about us bikers? Uh, usual, nothing. I don't care. I make my own. I make my own rides. I am very courteous. I know where and when I can't ride in a certain position, and I don't. I don't. I am way courteous all the time, and I will always, always wait for the light. Unless I see clear, no traffic, for a couple hundred feet, I'm taking off. Uh, in Danielson, it's not that bad, but anywhere else, I wait for the light. Even in Danielson by uh, uh, Wally World. Well, today, a couple of times, I waited for the light. No chances. You tell me when I can go across this road here, and I will make it across this road. And they did. Oh, they gave me the walk signal. One of them gave me the walk, there were two signals, and one of them gave me the walk, and the other one gave me the person, you know, walking. So I did what that person did, but I put it on my bicycle. Oh, and get this one today. Instead of going right across the street, and the double two lanes one way, two lanes the other way, I stopped halfway and hit that light, but then when it was time to go through, it, I wasn't there because uh, there was no traffic and I left. <laughs> but I did hit the light twice. <laughs> I know. Gary, why are you fucking telling us this shit? Well, when the video runs out, well, hey, you can see that the video runs out, but I can yak all I want. And I made a couple of videos the other day, 20... 25 minutes and and eh, I don't like them either. I like the five minute. So where are we at now? Two or three hours on this one? <laughs> no. Alright. I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just going home. The doctor hit me with some kind of goofy medicine. It's fucking me head all up. Oh yeah, my head's all fucked up from her medicine. Oh, she put the Novocaine in the back of my head, not in the, on my back where it's supposed to be. That woman is crazy. Yeah, now so am I. <laughs> all right, I'm on South Street, headed to the Four Corners where my honey was in an accident today, a car accident. And you know, I want you to get this one, people. Think about this one. 1967. Her and I, I was driving. Her and I were in my Corvair convertible headed in the same direction and out from the left side which is where she, my honey got hit on the left side here comes the sky wham pushes in the side of my Corvair turns us right around and we're headed in the other direction on this road uh, uh, where are we coming from uh, it was light because of my uh, engine was in the uh, back it just took, a, took it with it 
So it ended up on the side of the road, but not like Sharon's. It was half in a ditch, half skidded down the road. And the bags went out. Same thing happened today. She was going down, or I should say up Allen Hill. Got to the four corners of Ennis and South Street, which is what I'm on right here. And boom. She said, I never saw it. Somebody hit her on the left side, driver's side, and pushed her car onto the other lane and around into the dirt on the oncoming traffic. Oh, yeah, I did her whole side. Bags were deployed. Not the bag for the steering wheel, but the bag for the windows and the side panels. Uh, both sides. Not one on the passenger side, just the window uh, pillow. Window pillow on the passenger and driver's side, and a balloon coming out of the strut between the front and the back door was cushioning her from whatever the door would do. Whoa. Yeah, right here. See it? Have I got the camera on long enough, or is it just gone? Yeah, it's on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, if I have to make a video, you guys are going to have to watch it. Watch it. FF in it, I don't care. But at least, uh, subscribe. Tell me how much the best guy in the world I'm is. If anything, I am a Frank Zappa fan. Nah, not really. I'm a helmet fan. I'm a Uriah Heap fan. What else did I used to like? Oh, I went fucking nuts on uh, Jethro Tull. Saw him a couple of times. Oh, yeah. Um, who were those other guys? Uh, she was coming down this street here. Somebody in a van was coming out here. Hit her. The van ended up right over here. And she ended up turned around in the road and up into the grass. Sharon. Uh, I got here about maybe 10 minutes after and she was okay. Shaken up. People were already here. I wasn't. But yeah, that was quick. People were already here. So anyway, she got popped in the side of her car. We'll have to uh, see what the insurance company wants to do with this. Uh, her insurance company. Because she is the one at fault. And that is uh, by what the state police guy said. You know, police guy? You know, the state police guy. Yeah, he said it was her fault. And I have the paper to prove it. All right, Sharon has the paper to prove it. <laughs> Uh, oh well, you'll see it on video. I took a couple. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta. Wow. You know what I did five minutes before I came down there? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Well, how can I say it? I self medicated before I left the house. And then as I'm leaving. My across the street, no even neighbor says, he's coming back on the Blueberry Lane saying, Gary, Aaron got creamed down there in the corner of Lou, of uh, Allen Hill. Oh, uh, okay. If she calls, if she call her, tell her I'm on my way. I don't have a phone. Never did, never will. Yeah, I don't need that shit. Really, I just don't need the complications of, hey, I get a bill. How do I press this button? What app? How do I get here? I gotta do this, forget when? Put your finger on the phone and go left or right. <laughs> nah, not interested. It's always on me. Always getting rang. You know, hey, how you doing? My uh, co-rider gets that. Oh, let's do that. My co-writer, Dennis. Yes.
co-writer and the Beezer guy. <laughs> I'm gonna have a drink of water. Yeah. I usually, I usually walk halfway up there. But I didn't today. Wow, Gally. You must have had two drinks. Yeah, and some Novocaine and a needle in my back. Somebody gave me a piece of paper that said two o'clock on this day. I'm just thinking about my appointment today. And I goofed with everybody. I hope they took light of it. That's all I am. Yeah, every, hopefully I have light humor, but yeah, sometimes I don't. The only thing that I don't do in my life, I don't know what, out of anything, living with a woman, owning a home, uh, married for 50 years, done this, done that, done this, done that. I'm not somebody who has taken off the system and done nothing. You gotta help some people, but evidently we're not helping enough because we get people out of work. And not only do we have people out of work, but we have homeless. And that's kind of the bottom of the barrel when you, the executive, or a uh, computer tech, or somebody else, or a uh, machine operator of some sort. Your job is gone at 30 bucks an hour or whatever because, wow, I can have it done overseas for 12. <laughs> I'm going to take that and I'm going to run with it and I'm going to make millions. So we have to adjust our prices in this world in order to be in sync with the people like you and me that don't have a lot of money to just go, well, I got this ticket the other day because I had a broken light in the back and I didn't think I did. And I was on my way to getting it fixed next week when I get paid. Nope. 110 bucks, you got a ticket. What for? Not having a light. Well, Jesus, I just told you that I was going to go have it fixed next week when I got paid. I don't care. Hey, you can't do that. I know my rights. <sighs> okay, so there's my bias. And then the cop turns around and says, Out of the car, you're under arrest. What'd they do? I'm not telling you again. Get out of the car, you're under arrest. Yeah, that's what I watch. All right, I won't say nothing more. I'll just uh, cut the video. Yeah, see, now you guys make me yak, yak, yak all the time. Huh, you make me turn the video on and I can't stop yakking. Whatever. So I had a good time today at the doctor's office and uh, at Maury's twice. I went down to the 